even in the best ending. Uh, let's see, that doesn't even have a villain. It's more interpersonal development drama that is the plot of that. No, they're just, bad. The way that it's done isn't really quite what we before. Stain, um, My Hero Academia. I've never seen it. Neither have I. Is that Boku no Hero? Yes, Academia? yeah. I can't say there was a villain in Assassination Classroom. <laughs> Entertaining villains! We were talking about it earlier. Browser. Double Dragon Neon. That's right, I mentioned it earlier. Mm. Absolutely. And he has a great villain song. <laughs> he does. And he sings his own villain song. Yes. Which would be a crime if he didn't. Uh, let's see. The Grinch. Yes. Yeah, sure. He is, but He has a good he, villain song. He, he is, but is he? The villain? Yeah, he's both the villain and the hero in the same story. I don't call him a hero. Yeah, he only undoes the bad thing that he did. Yeah. I mean, he has a redemption arc, but... The whole movie. Let's see. Pete in anything Pete is in. Yeah. Uh, Mickey Mouse film. Kind of depends. He's a lot more mundane. He is. Doing things like used car salesman or owner of the establishment that Mickey's working at that he's like, I just want to close it. I can't close it for no reason, but if you fail, I'm just going to close the place. Depending on how you play Undertale, one of the villains is the same as the villain in Play Geek. Yes! It's, I don't like it. They're so cute. No, no, he's bad. The thing that you made oh, blow I up by accident <laughs> one time. <laughs> don't look, but don't touch, or it'll die. Yeah. Okay, I got a question for you. Is there a, I would not be a good villain, no. Is there a villain in the Stanley Parable? There's not a plot in the Stanley Parable. No, there only is a plot in Stanley Parable. No, there is nothing. The villain in Stasis is so evil, I don't like them. Who is the villain in Super Hot? <laughs> the computer. The, the corporation. Uh, let's see. Did you like Gruntilda? She was simple but fun. I liked her in two. I really liked her in Tui. I liked her in Tui. No, How fair. about, uh, let's see. What the, did you think of Kamek in Yoshi's Island? Uh, he wasn't really the villain so much as a mook. Oh my! <laughs> and what are you talking about? He's the only villain who you never get to fight. Oh, what? Who? Kamek. In Yoshi's Island. Hmm.
He is hydrating. I'm just gonna stop on the screen for a few seconds. <laughs> stop it, Slaff. <laughs> Don't do it, Slaff. Oh, is he trying to get meta? <sighs> Alright, he might First, be. let's do them all. Now this. Are we in a magical fantasy land built for someone's amusement? You were made too early to be meta. <laughs> Either way, you've got a heaping helping of destiny on your plate. Eat up, I say. What about the, the basketball RPG game? Barkley? Yeah. I'd never, I mean, I played like three minutes of it. Is there a, a credible villain that is expressly the villain of Lisa. Hmm. Because yes, yes, there is. And okay. He's okay. Because from what I remember of what I've learned of it, hypothetically, the villain is humanity. I mean, it can be, but there is an express, a villain. an express, a target. final boss who's kind of been involved in everything up to this point. Are you surprised that I know that much about it? Yeah. Yeah. I have a game called Whoa Dave. I looked at it, it looks really ugly. I don't remember buying it. <laughs> Maybe it came in some sort of uh, thing or thing from Humble Bundle. A bundle, that's what it's called. A bundle from Humble Bundle. And now I'm even stronger. Not that you needed it. See, I know still a don't know lot I'm of going. games where there isn't an express villain. I play a lot, like, I've seen a lot of films and played a lot of games where there isn't directly a villain, which is kind of what makes it difficult for me, because I'll be thinking, I'll be like, oh, I really like that movie. There wasn't really a villain in that movie. <laughs> If you're talking about Stanley Parable, I don't consider the narrator a villain necessarily any more than Stanley is the villain. Because I think it's kind of a two-way street on that. It one. absolutely is. <sighs> the narrator in Pit People. Huh. The narrator's a D-bag in Pit People. He is. Okay, I have a question for you. Because you've experienced Battle Block Theater all the way through. Mm hmm. Is the hat considered the villain? I wouldn't. The hat's not a character. It is soul sucking. But it's not. It doesn't really have any character. Yeah, but now you've spoiled it again. You spoiled it? No, I said it quietly enough it wouldn't be picked up on the mic. <sighs> you set me up. You can hear my change in tone. If I get really quiet, you it means set me shut up. up. You are really bad at social cues. Like, bad enough that... I, I can't... Y did you not know that by now? Bad enough that sometimes I can't even comprehend the tier of how bad. And is this new to you? Yes! Like, I'll be like, in my head, like, surely this will make enough sense I won't have to explain it in detail. And then I have to explain it in detail after it's too late. You don't play Battle Block Theater for the plot. I don't know. I've heard people say that their reaction to the end was actually kind of like, Oh, I can't believe it. And then there's other times where I can't really say who the villain is, but that there's clearly a villainous aspect to games. Like, I can think of at least a couple where there is definitely a an evil thing doer, but I don't know if they're the villain. Catbird and Dogbird. 
<laughs> and you know the pointy haired boss, probably. I don't even remember Catbird. Catbird, Catbird seems to be. He's the evil head of accounting. I mean, not accounting, but the evil head of HR. Oh. I know Dogbird. Mm. I don't say Dogbird's a villain, really. He seems less. Yeah, Dogbird's evil. more like his friend, directly. Yeah, Catbird! Well, he's a... the evil head of HR. Right. Who's in charge, Boy Haired Boss or Catbert? Catbert seems to wield more authority. Well, Pointy Haired Boss is more like the boss of the floor, and Catbert is, I guess, in that way, in charge of an aspect that overarches far beyond that floor. Because you, because the way you have to think of it is, if you're talking about the head of HR, then you're talking about the top tier of a framework of a business, and that person definitely wields a lot of authority. But then you also would have, like, your chief financial officer and your chief executive officer who would also be high in authority, but in different ways. With the chief executive officer usually being the top tier in a business. But a CFO and a CIO and, a, <laughs> you know, all those other things definitely wield enough power that you could probably... Fire cook a lot of uh, cook people. some marshmallows over them. I mean, possibly. If their power is being on fire. Uh, would you say that of all the Pokemon games, the rival in two is the most villainous rival? I wouldn't say he's much of a oh, rival. Yes, he's not really much of a villain so much as just a dick. Team Ro Giovanni's a villain. Team whatever. Okay, so these. here's the funny part about having played through the first couple Pokemon games. Well, the first Pokemon game. Because I was so little at the time, I know Giovanni's supposed to be the villain, but I don't know much of why within the games. Uh, he wanted to, to take the power of Pokemon. He created the Master Ball and Mewtwo. To t conquer the world. He's basically like... Mob well, he wanted to use Pokemon to make money. He's basically... He is. Team Rock, it's the Mafia. They are. They're just mostly incompetent. But yeah. The villainous teams are all villainous and they're... Team Aqua and Team Magma are just stupid and dumb. And yeah, they don't like their villainy all. is evil, but it also has no... It has like a whole benefit to them either. It like has a whole environmental message that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, we should destroy the ocean so there'll be more room for humans, or destroy the land so there'll be more room for Pokemon, except for the ones that aren't in the water. Why? Because we ah. hate Charmander so much. <laughs> I mean, at least Team Galactic, which also wants to remake the world, at least their boss basically wants to become a self-made god, which while still evil, is at least s has some conceivable rationality to it. Team Flare was too deep for me. How about... Or they just didn't make enough sense. How about... Dialga? Primal Dialga? Yeah. Mm, no. There not... was so much bad writing in no, that no, game. Too. <laughs> uh, that... Like... The game is that still... game didn't even really have a villain. That game was so quaint and charming. Wait, and no, so... we have we haven't seen the end of the plot yet, actually. Do you have to go through all the side stories? No, you have to go through the a, the la a post game chapter. One chapter, not roughly. Like, not like all a, the super crazy. I mean, methods. if you nothing super crazy, I've done it before. Cause I don't like so cause like. I don't think you have to go through any of the crazy bonus dungeons. One of the things I find really annoying is, isn't it true that you can go through the bonus dungeons, encounter the Pokémon that is on the floor that's super rare, and not catch them, and the only way to try it is to get it again is to go all the way through the dungeon back to the same floor? I don't know. Because if I remember correctly, Mew has a 5% catch rate, is on the 50th floor, and you have to redo the dungeon if you don't. I'm not get crazy enough to mess with that. I nonsense. know, and that's what's really disappointing because I want Mew. And Mew is often transformed when you find it. So you beat up some random Pokemon, and you're like, 
Oh, by the way, that was Mew. Really? I thought Mew's a random encounter? Yeah. It's not a boss, huh? That's weird. No, Mew's not a boss. You you got far enough to find that, huh? Yeah. I want Mew. I like Mew. And that's one of the only games where you can get Mew prior to the online.